Thanks for staying with us. Continuing with our finalists from the Funniest Person in Columbus contest, let's check out the Pepsi Max Local Comedian of the Week, Matthew Spriggs. I am a student. I am in law school. And uh, it's great. It's difficult. Oh, another nerd. That's good. That's, uh, it's difficult. I'm learning things about myself I didn't want to know, though. Like, I've learned, I'm 26 years old, I'm in graduate level education, and if you assign me a six page paper, I'm still just gonna type three pages and adjust the margins. <laughs> when am I gonna grow out of this? I'm picturing myself as 40 something, turning in things, and the boss is like, Spriggs, this is great, but why is it in 18 point font? <laughs> and what is this picture on the last page? <laughs> it says it's a pie chart of your average intensity? <laughs> Shouldn't that be a line graph? I don't know. It's getting cold outside. I know some of you are bundled up. Uh, let me tell you one thing. Always around this time of year, I start to think this. There's one thing I'm so proud of. I have never spoken the words, it is so cold outside today, I'm going to wear a ski mask. <laughs> because it's never that cold. It's never so cold that I'm willing to scare the shit out of everyone I'm gonna see today. That, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's like a knit sack with two holes for the eyes. Looks like you're wearing a jack-o'-lantern on your head. Because that's what it is. If you see someone in a ski mask, you have to stop and consciously ask yourself, is it cold out here or am I about to get murdered? <laughs> clothes are so strange. Like who invents some of these clothes? Who is the guy that invented the bulletproof vest? Who is this jackass? Who's the guy that says I've invented a fabric bullets cannot pierce and I've made it sleeveless? <laughs> like if I invented Kevlar, cops would be walking around in bulletproof turtlenecks, right? Like full body bulletproof jumpsuits. If I had invented Kevlar, the only way a cop could ever be injured is from falling on his back like a turtle and being unable to get up. That'd be the only danger. Clothes are so strange. Like, are you aware? Do you know that we call a sleeveless white undershirt a wife beater? Because of one unfortunate representation in a streetcar named Desire, suddenly every white sleeveless undershirt is the uniform for domestic violence? That doesn't seem right, does it? Like, we don't call every black and white striped top a hamburglar, do we? Look at all those hipsters, I bet they eat a lot of sandwiches. I, I saw a commercial recently, I don't know if you've seen this, it has Derek Jeter, he's selling Gatorade, and he's talking about how people watch the games. And he says, people watch it in slow-mo, fast-mo, and every kind of mo there is. I'm not a scientist, Derek, but I think you covered them all. There's slow-mo, fast-mo. There's not a fast-mo, there's just slow-mo. Like, are there other mo's I didn't know about? People watching games in abstract-mo, where everyone looks like a Picasso? Except for Greg Oden, who already looks like that. Too much? Speaking of people who look weird, I've been taking a lot of public transportation. And uh, let me tell you something about the public buses. If you get on a public bus anywhere in America right now, and there are six open seats, you are now playing a game called Crazy Person Roulette. <laughs> because one of those people is crazy. <laughs> and they're crazy, but they're not stupid. So they'll let you get on, they'll sit there silently. They'll give you 90 seconds. You come in, you sit down, and they count down. They're like, three, two, one. And then as loud as they can, they'll yell, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> and that's when you know you've just landed on green double zero of Crazy Person <laughs> Roulette. And the worst thing is you can't even argue because he was not talking to you. <laughs> this happened to me just the other day. I sit down, the guy said something, so immediately, like, you try and not move because you think maybe they're like the Tyrannosaurus Rex in Jurassic Park. And if you don't move, they can't see you. But that's not how they see. Crazy people sense by smell. They can smell your fear. And so I'm sitting there and he turns to me and he goes, who are you voting for? Crazy people only want to talk about two things, politics and religion. The two things your mother warned you never to talk about in public, as it turns out, it's because she didn't want you to look like a crazy person. <laughs> and so the good news is I got the politics guy, because that's like junior varsity crazy. It's not so bad, right? So he turns to me, he's like, who are you voting? I mumble something incoherent. And that's when he turns to me and says, I'm voting for Jesus. <laughs> to which I respond, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you think Osama bin Laden is hanging out with Carmen Sandiego? Is that why he's so hard to find? Why can't we just get the kids from that show to go find him? 
They seem to be so good at it. You know the show with the maps on the ground, right? That was a weird show though, wasn't it? It's an important show though, because when you control the maps, you control the power. That's why I don't believe it when people are like, we invaded Iraq so we could take it over. Like, that's what we were doing. We'd just call up Rand McNally and be like, make it happen. And that's what the U.S. should do. Every year is just expand the United States on maps a little bit east and west. And after 10 years, people in Europe are like, when did Maine start touching Greenland? And what is Caliphate China? They didn't even hyphenate it. It's just a big word. It'd be super awkward after like 20 years, we've expanded all the way around and still haven't touched Mexico. <laughs> Sorry, Mexico. We just don't think you're a good fit for the United States. We hear Canada needs a partner. We'll see you at the Olympics. I'm Matthew Spriggs, thanks guys. Watch more local talent or take the mic yourself every Tuesday at the Columbus Comedy Showcase. Visit ColumbusFunnyBone.com for more details. Well, time to say goodnight, but we'll be back next week with Mark Riccadonna, as well as the Pepsi Max Local Comedian of the Week, Mike Paramore. No relation to the band Paramore, though. My name's Leslie James with CD 101, 101.1, and for my co-host, Dino Trabotis from Sunny 95, this has been live from the Funny Bone. <laughs>